Hello! I'm back with another tutorial. And guess what we'll be looking at today? Guess hard. Yep, we're gonna look at how to make a mouth. Like this. And with no further ado, let's just, uh, let's just do it. So I'm gonna hide this one here and let's start from scratch. What you want to do is have, you know, obviously have some kind of character to put it on and take the pen tool and select a color for the inside of the mouth. I like to go normally for a kind of desaturated dark brown, red, reddish brown color. Something like this maybe. And just draw your mouth. And make sure you don't have any elements selected here, otherwise you'll just end up making a mask with the pen tool. Instead of making a shape, what we want to do here, like this, okay, real quick and dirty. Uh, let me just tweak a little bit. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Her behave, behave, okay. So that's the mouth, and yeah. I'm gonna call the layer mouth. And let's lay down some keyframes for that shape. So I'm going to expand it, go into Contents, Shape 1, Path 1, Path. Click the stopwatch. Boom, got a keyframe. Let's move to frame 1. No, I mean, one second there. And, you know, animate this. So it's going to go from happy to sad. Oh, from happy to sad. From happy to sad. Okay, he's kind of miserable right now. Okay, so the animation goes like this. Ah, oh, oh, all right. Now we want some teeth in here. So I'm gonna select the whitish color, maybe like that, and draw my teeth. Quick and dirty, that's how we like it. All right, upper teeth, and with that still selected, I'm going to draw my lower teeth, like so. All right, so now they're actually grouped in this shape layer here. And let's just call it teeth, shall we? Just to make things easy. And when you expand that one, you can see in contents we have shape one, shape two. And shape one happens to be upper teeth, and shape two, lower teeth. Looks pretty weird right now. Um, and that's because we want to mask the teeth. And this is where the cool trick comes in. What you want to do is duplicate your mouth layer. Command D. Press U on your keyboard to reveal any keyframes in that layer. And you know, delete them, just delete them. Because what we want to do, I'm just going to show this path layer down here. What we want to do is have the path of this second mouth layer to follow you know the exact same path as the original mouth and to do that we can pick whip uh, the values from this path up to this path so any modifications you make to the path of the original mouth will be applied to you know the, the mask here the shape we're going to be using as a mask for the teeth um, so yeah, just hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch, and then click this little pig whip icon and you know, drag it all the way down to the path of the original mouth and let go. All right, let's just rename this mask, drag it on top of the teeth, click the teeth, and under track mat, you choose to use the uh, above layer as an alpha mat, the teeth, like that. So right now, they will always stay inside the mouth area. All right, let's add some lips to our little character here. So what you want to do is duplicate the mask layer because we might as well just reuse the all the pick whip stuff we did for that and uh, you know, so we don't have to do it again. So I'm going to select the mask layer and duplicate that, command D, rename it to lips. And yeah, since it was a mask before, we just have to turn on the visibility for it again here. And since they're going to be lips, I don't want any fill on that, so I'm going to hide the fill. And I'm going to add the stroke. And yeah, it actually turned out kind of the way I wanted, wanted it to look. 
Now the teeth, let's look at how to animate those. So I'm gonna select the teeth, expand that layer, contents, and we got our upper and lower teeth here. So I'm gonna expand that, go into path, click the stopwatch, and on the lower teeth, same thing, stopwatch. And just click the layer and press U. You know, that'll just hide all the, the other stuff and just focus on the keyframes you have on that layer. So when the mouth goes from this position to this position, maybe you want the teeth to, to uh, let's see here, the upper teeth to move up a little bit and the lower teeth to move up a little bit as well, maybe. See how that looks. Oh, looks decent. Hey, ah. Oh. So that is how you make mouth like this. Thanks for watching and hope you found this as useful as I did. And stay tuned for more videos from BarkVideo.com. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Bye.